there, fellow collectors. Shuki here with a review of the Shinkalion DXS03 Shinkalion E7 Kagayaki. So this is the third and kind of the trinity of main Shinkalion of the animation. Right, now the E5, the E6, and now the E7. And this one's pretty cool. It's got a little bit of a different uh, panel maneuvering to it that uh, makes it pretty cool. I like the way that this one works. Um, but yeah, so this one's released in January 2018, a little bit newer uh, than the other ones uh, for the normal price of 4500 or so, give or take, depending on when and where you picked it up. So the normal price for these Shane Kalyan. But you have the E7 right there, the robot mode hanging out up there, logo. I love the way this box looks. Uh, I just like this whole style uh, right here. I think that's really cool. Um, all the functions on the back, you have the Shinkansen. There is an example of the plow rail uh, system. Since I don't have any yet, um, I will be getting some in this uh, base thing that uh, they're doing for Shinkalion. So I will have a little bit of plow rail system. But um, Robot right there, the shouting drill right there. We'll take a look at that. It comes with the IC card as normal, the Link Gatai crown piece, Shinka gear coming very soon, and of course a Link Gatai that we'll take a look at. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get this open and take a look. And so here is Kageyaki, and just like all the others, he rolls very, very, very well. And those links are nice and secure. No worries about unclipping or anything like that. These are superbly built toys. So, very much cool. I'm very much looking forward to getting some actual rails uh, for these, to be honest. And the, the motorized uh, piece coming out soon kind of has me a little bit excited, too. So, uh, again, very cool. I could literally just sit here and roll this all day long. But, we don't have time for that. We got a toy to review. So, let's go ahead and unhook these pieces. Again, this front piece kind of terrifies me a little bit. Taking a look at the passenger car, it's a little bit more of a subdued design, much like the E6, but very nice blue. Again, would be really cool if it was metallic, but it's very sharp blue. We've got some nice stripe line work going along the middle right there. So go ahead and split this open. And you have the shattering drill, a drill weapon, uh, based on the like wheel sections of trains. So that's pretty neat. I dig that. This does also split part, just like so. Uh, it looks kind of weird split apart because they're drills, and now they're not. <laughs> so I'm going to just keep them together because that's pretty much how it is used in the show. And there's two different pegs here so that you can use either hand. So whatever you want to do, I'm going to keep that one folded up because I usually put them in the right hand. So we'll set that aside. There is a Link Gatai crown piece and we'll set that aside as well. And now we'll just go ahead and set this entire passenger car aside because we don't really need that right now. Here is the front of... The Shinkansen, the E7 Kageyaki, JR logo right there. Very nice, and I like the gold uh, that runs through this car as well. And just uh, to kind of clarify a little bit, uh, this one's actually a little bit more of a kind of eggshell sort of color compared to the very white color of the E5 and the E6. So that's pretty cool too, kind of sets them apart a little bit. Transformation, super easy. I am much like all of the others. So the front half here is not very different. It's nice to see that my hand joints have uh, loosened a little bit. When I first took them out of the package, I could not get the hand out to save the life of me at all. But uh, again, very nice gold color. Really dig that a lot. Flip the head out. Very cool head sculpt. I dig that design. Very cool. And again, no head crest or anything to worry about falling over. Probably going to make a comment about that in every video because that is the bane of my existence with the E5. Uh, <laughs> and there we have Kageyaki. Oh, no, almost. That actually folds back. This piece right here folds back. So he doesn't have a big old gaping thing sticking out behind his head. 
So pretty cool, we got that. Now for the feet, uh, as mentioned, the feet work a little bit differently than the others. Uh, the, the, the core is exactly the same, but instead of these panels just flipping out, they actually do a little bit of maneuvering that the other ones don't do. So if we go ahead and line this up, uh, the rest of the bits are still very much the same. Fold that, fold these down, and fold these up. Make sure everything is all nice and snapped into place. These will split apart. And so what you're going to want to do here is fold them out like so. And these actually swing back out. So when this part is fully lined up, you're just going to want to push it so that it is even up here with the leg. So you want to even that out and then push it forward. And then that will line up like so and you can move it forward a smidge. Nope, there we go. So just like that. So instead of sticking straight out and curved like the E5 or the E6, the E7 actually has this uh, curve in it, which I actually like uh, a lot. Uh, it kind of helps the, the the leg panels here sort of blend in a little bit better. I don't know. I like it. <laughs> and to complete the transformation, just attach the two halves together. But like I said, it uh, kind of gives it a little less of a uh, big skirt piece. And I, I like that quite a bit. There we go. All nice and fixed. So there we go. And there is the E7 Kageaki. And I, I like this one a ton. Like I said, I like the way the leg silhouette looks. Uh, the kind of edged panels uh, give it a, a nice little bit of a different silhouette compared to the others. And uh, as I mentioned in the E6 review, uh, the E7 was built for a power type. So it's uh, quite a bit stronger than the other two Shin Kalyan. So I like how it's got a little bit stronger looking legs, uh, so to speak, at least in my humble opinion. Uh, so nothing uh, additional uh, for this guy. Swing that part back in there. And it's pretty much what we have come to grow and love with the Shin Kali Online. Most of these are going to be probably until later on in the line where they start hitting some of the really cool ones that are like three pieces that combine and all this fun stuff. The, the line gets very, very cool. So I'm hoping that they release uh, those in the DXS line as well. Otherwise, I got some backlogging to do. But uh, Shot Range Drill, like I said, can go in either hand. I generally like to set it up to where it is using the one on the opposite side, so that it kind of makes it just look like it's part of the arm. I think it looks the best. So there you go, now he's got this handheld drill weapon, which works because the conductor, uh, conductor, driver, <laughs> I mean, I guess, of uh, this Shinkalion is uh, an engineer kid. So the uh, whole handheld drill totally works for him. But pretty cool, obviously, with all the other weapons, it would have been nice if this was a little bit more detailed, but minor. Minor nitpick, or was just a little bit bigger. Uh, that too. But no additional pieces or anything like that. It does still have all the ports up here, so you can actually take the shotgun drill and uh, split it apart again and put the drill halves like up here, if you so wish. Uh, kind of pretend they're lasers or something. I don't know what you want to do. But you can put those up there if you so wish can also take them off and you could put them on the arms as little drill arm pieces which is pretty cool as well so you got lots of different things you could do for his weapon configuration but just know that the shouting drill normally just sits in the hand like so so there we go, and there's another look at his head sculpt, which again is one that I really like. It's kind of just got a sleek, sort of modern robot head that uh, looks really cool to me. I don't know, I like it. Uh, but there we go. So there is the E7 Kageyaki. So of course there are some Link Gatai compatibilities with this one and of course we're going to go ahead and bring in the e5 since that is the one in the show and this was actually the first link gatai that we got to take a look at in episode eight so split these apart as per normal 
And then we're going to take the legs of Kageyaki and the top part of Hayabusa and snap them together. Again, going to have to fix Hayabusa's head crest because it just falls over all the time. My cat's whining for some reason, as he normally does. Going to switch hand pegs for the Sharin drill, which was apparently a mistake because I can't get this at all. There we go. And you can plug the Sharin drill. Or on the other hand, and of course we're going to take the blue crown piece and plug it in to E5's head. I'm just going to ignore the head crest. I apologize. But I'm going to ignore the head crest. <laughs> there we go. There is the link you got tie between E5 and E7. Very cool. I like the way this looks. Uh, the teal and the blue uh, just work really well together. So I dig that a ton. Uh, we can also go ahead and get some red versus blue action going on. And we can take the legs of the E6 with the upper portion of E7. And we got that going on. I'm not going to bother getting the shouting drill out of the other hand, but we'll go ahead and give him the handheld guns instead of putting him on the shoulder because the shoulder port just doesn't particularly want to work most of the time. Now we'll put this head crest piece, which doesn't want to work completely on him. There we go. I'm not going to push it in all the way because while I was actually just playing with these on their own. Um, he actually got stuck in there. <laughs> it was kind of hard to get out. So there is a link Gatai between E6 and E7. And since we have these two pieces left over, let's go ahead and <laughs> go ahead and do a link Gatai, a weaponless link Gatai between E5 and E6. So there we go. Now we have three different link Gatais going on at one time. A really fun feature uh, for these toys. And like I said, as we get more and more Shinkalian released, uh, we can mix and match in all these other different ways too. And so it really adds a whole lot of playability uh, to these. And it, it, it's fun to mix and match and just see the color combinations. It's a lot like builds a uh, whole gimmick, just mixing and matching and see what it looks like. But definitely a fan of this one. I like that a lot. And now we are back to the normal configurations for these guys. I'm going to go ahead and set them aside and since I forgot earlier and just in case this is anyone's first Shinkalion video of mine just real quick the articulation uh, of this guy the head is on a ball joint which means you get a full rotation get a little bit of looking down you get a little bit of looking up shoulders are on a ratchet joint right there you do have a swivel at the shoulder mostly for transformation as well as a swivel at the elbow Slight movement in the wrist due to transformation. No waist movement or hip movement or anything like that. But you do have some side to side on the hips due to the transformation. A double joint at the knee, again, due to transformation. But you get some knee movement in there. Uh, and a swivel at the ankle. So there you go. There is your articulation. So not a whole lot in the lower portion of the robot, but you got a lot of movement in the arms uh, to get some nice playability and nice posing going on. So they're not total bricks or anything like that. Transformation back into the trains is very, very simple. Just go ahead and take the shot and drill and set it aside. That can go back into the passenger car later on. That can just fold right in, fold in, that flip out the connector and just sort of line everything up. As mentioned, line everything up. Thanks to all the joints, sometimes they can get a little bit misaligned. Fold that all up. There you have the one part of the Shinkansen. And as mentioned in my other Shinkalion videos, the E7 Kageyaki is an actual Shinkansen that runs in Japan. If you go to Japan 
and ride the Shinkansen, there is a chance that if you are in the right area in which this train runs, you could actually ride this train. No, the train does not transform into an actual robot. That would be very, very cool. But, alas, this is not the world we live in. But I feel like it is very, very soon. And so there we have the other half of the Shinkansen. And as with the others, it does include the IC card, uh, which as mentioned in the last video is kind of designed after the Suica uh, cards. So go check out the E6 video if you want to learn a little bit more on that. But I see, that's why there's a C. Ha <laughs> ha, I get it. And you got the head of Kagiyaki on this side and there's the QR code if anyone wants to take a scan of that. But we'll take a look at this some more when we get the Shinka gear. So that about does it for this one. Another fun addition to this line. And this one is quite a bit playable uh, to me. I don't know if it's just the fact that his, his weapon is a simple handheld weapon that he doesn't need all the time. So it's it's fun to just carry the two pieces of the Shinkansen and transform them whenever you want. Uh, and you don't feel like you're missing out of the wings of the E5 or the guns of the E6 or anything like that. So I don't know. I just have quite a bit of fun playing with this one. I also like the way that the leg panels transform a little bit more. Uh, as well, it's a little bit more intuitive. So, very, very cool. A nice addition to the line. The E3 Tsubasa is next on the release schedule, I believe, sometime this month. So, very, very soon. Very much looking forward to it. I need more trains immediately. Uh, we also have the Shinka Gear coming up and the Shashat uh, robot toy. Uh, coming up as well. So there's definitely going to be some more Shinkalion reviews coming up this month and more on the future. So huge thanks to everyone that's checked this out. If you are interested in the show, go ahead and jump onto Nya and type Shinkalion into the search box. Uh, subs by Weeaboo Shogun and it's very, very good and I love it a lot. These are really cool and I'm very happy. So huge thanks to that Televicunt issue for getting me into this and huge thanks to train fans for reinforcing my decision and teaching me all the cool train stuff and and all that stuff. So I'm really happy. I'm going to go play with these some more. So that about does it for this review. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. And as always, thanks for watching. Take care. And have a great one. Bye. I'd like to thank Joey, Mr. Mike, Joshua, and all my fans who support me on Patreon.